Hi guys, in this video we're not doing any technical maths, we're going to be looking at some of the technical words associated with indices because a lot of the difficulty people face in maths is just not understanding what the question is asking of them because maths is like a different language and if you don't understand the language in which it's written it's very difficult to start answering the question which is why we're going to have a kind of indices glossary. So first of all, the word power. Now powers tell you how many times a number is to be multiplied by itself. So, for example, 2 to the 5 means multiplying 2 by itself 5 times. To get 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So that is the answer. And do notice that powers and indices are the same thing. Next up, you need to be aware that the reverse of raising to a power is taking a root. So, for example... If we do 16 with a square root, you have to work out what number is multiplied by itself to get 16, and that answer is 4. So the square root of 16 is 4. We're going to make it slightly more complicated by writing this small 4 next to the root sign, and this means finding the fourth root. So we're looking for the number which you multiply by itself four times in order to get to 16. And as you can see down here, I've written that number out. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, which is why the fourth root of 16 is 2. We're now going to look at a cube root of 27. So which number needs multiplying by itself three times to get to 27? Well, if we do 3 times 3, we get to 9. Times 3 is 27, so the cube root here is 3. Now we need to get a bit more complicated by looking at fractional powers. And the easiest way to understand this is by taking an example. So we're going to take 8 to the 2 over 3. So the 2 over 3 is the fractional power. And it doesn't matter which way around you do it, but just be aware of what this is instructing you to do. The number on the bottom, so the denominator, is telling you to find the cube root. The number on the top is telling you to square. So let's find the cube root of 8. So what number is multiplied by itself three times to get to 8? We'll do the maths over here. It is 2 because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. And then after that we need to square it and we get a value which is 4. So 8 to the 2 over 3, once you've done all the maths to that, that value is 4. Just to show you that we could have done it the other way around, and it doesn't actually matter what order in which we do it, let's do the squaring first of all, and then the cube rooting. So what's 8 squared? Well, it's 8 times 8, which is 64. And now we need to cube root 64. So what number needs multiplying by itself three times to get to 64? And if we do 4 times 4 and get to 16, times that by 4, you get to 64. So the answer is, again, 4. So it doesn't matter which way around you do it. Some more notation now. So n to the minus 1 indicates the reciprocal of n. So it indicates the upside down version of n and looks like this. So it takes the value 1 over n. So for example, if we had 7 to the minus 1, this would therefore look like 1 over 7. Negative powers. indicate or show reciprocals so if we have 3 to the minus 2 as our example this minus side according to this point above means that we need to do 1 over 3 we've made the reciprocal the 2 indicates that we need to square that number at the bottom so square that denominator so 3 squared is 9, so the answer here is 1 over 9. Now there are some key laws of indices we need to go over. So if you are multiplying together those indices, remember the simple thing you can do here is just add them together. So x to the a times x to the b is actually where well, you add the indices, so you add those powers and it becomes a plus b. 
Likewise, if you're dividing, you're going to do the opposite and you're going to subtract. So you're literally going to take away B from A to get a value which is A minus B. And then the last law you need to be aware of is X to the A times B, which obviously means multiplying. So your final answer will look like this. And in other videos, I'm actually going to show you the maths. After all, this is just a glossary. Other things you should be aware of that you just need to wrote learn is that anything to the 1 is just the thing by itself. So 9 to the 1 would just be 9. Anything to the power of a 0 is just 1. It doesn't matter if it's 8 to the 0, 7 to the 0, 4 to the 0. These numbers all equal 1. And the same is true for 0 to the 0. That also equals 1. And then lastly, when we're looking at indices, we often need to write in standard form. So something like 1.25 times 10 to the 7. And it's important to notice here, this number must be bigger or equal to 1 or less than 10. And we call this standard form. So yeah, like I said, lots of maths is basically speaking in a different language, which is why I thought it was really essential to make this video, just so that you're aware of some basic technical terms. I'll be back soon with another video. Um, I hope you've been finding these new maths videos really helpful. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.